My name is Susan Mwangi and today on the Poultry Farming Show, we bring you right here in Wasil Geshu County. We bring you to Buonacos Gay's home. He is a poultry farmer and has been practicing poultry farming. He has just finished putting up another poultry house. He is expecting over a thousand chicks, which he will be telling us about. So maybe you can tell us, tell us a little bit of your journey. How did you start poultry farming? Um. My journey now is three years old. Mm -hmm. I started uh, back in 2016, uh, where I visited the uh, deputy president home, and I liked uh, the, the way he has done the, the, the poultry. The poultry. So I booked for 400 layers, whereby I tried. It was a hard uh, task, nearly jaribu for like three months, mm -hmm. because they have to feed for four months before they lay. It was up and down, but I tried. Uh, the end of it, I got the eggs, and that was my joy. Mm -hmm. Then I stayed with the layers for one, one year, six months. I sold all of them. Then I started preparing now for the, the rental rosters and the boilers. And this is where I am today. Okay. So poultry farmers have been experiencing quite, quite a number of challenges, especially in the recent past, uh, with the influx of eggs in the market from the neighboring country and the high cost of feed. So you personally, how have you been able to overcome these challenges? One concerning feed, you know, cuckoos, uh, chicks, when I charge the right quality of product, like uh, mostly I use uh, unga product. You know when you use the Kenyaji ones, you will find that the seller has reduced the, the, the maize and the cakes, so it doesn't balance. But unga are the best, because when you feed your chicks with the unga, what are laid direct, it's expensive. Because one goes at around 2,600, you know. So imagine feeding your chicks with um, like 10 kilos a day, that's uh, in 50 kilos five days. So you're spending 2,700 in five days. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's expensive and it's a, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. the, the second challenge is diseases. The diseases are... Uh, so you need to be hygiene uh, You have to watch hygiene. You have to watch the environment. If you come so dust, change within every two weeks. Una change. So that at least you can safe. Which variety of uh, chicken did you start with when you started poultry farming? I have a good farm manager who is uh, more keen on his job. So at the end of it is 400 eggs a day. You can imagine that's 4,000 a day. So I was able to manage the, the 400, eggs, uh, 400 chicks, but at some point to cut off. Mm -hmm. around 350. So 350x a day, that's around 10 crates. Uh, good money, yeah. What is your market? Do you have people that just walk in and buy the eggs? Or uh, did you have an identified market? Or do you have an identified market already for the poultry, for the chicks that you're expecting? I'm a good salesman, salesman. <laughs> I talk to people, uh -huh. I talk to everyone, everyone I meet. Uh -huh. You know me, I sell even too. I'm okay with it. So the environment first, in concentrate the environment and kauza. My late dad was a kokama uh, So when he was doing the dialysis, he managed to sell the eggs there. So the market was easy to find. Since I took concentrated in the hotel, just the common men around. Uh, we sold. It was good. Yeah. So maybe you can tell us 
what did you consider while putting up the structure and also you can advise other farmers who are in the process of putting up a structure what are the main factors that they should put into consideration i think first thing before i would uh, jenge you need to like unaangalia ni kuku gani unaleta is it layers is it broilers ama kienyeji broilers are very sensitive broilers see zile kuku Broiler sees the le kuku wako resistant kwa ugonjwa. They are very sensitive. Wana mature within six weeks. I, uh, building this house, I considered the wind, the direction of the wind, because always you are direct to the wind, wana shikwa na stress. Wani wale kuku, yani tu hata ukiwa gonga, wana shikwa na stress, because uh, their food is a lot of fats. So I think their body, because heart attack, they are shikwa na second thing i consider space ona they need space for hair ona na hiyo feed zao tena lazima spacing lazima ipangiwe vizuri usafi lazima iwe juu na maji water is everything and heat again joto unaona sasa hizi it's a rainy season so kuna hiyo fluctuation ya ya temperature mara iko juu mara iko chini so you have to consider and that's why i'm using the hammer so that you know je inaweka joto atamvoi kinyesha bado joto itakuwa ndani for some time. Yeah. Do you do the brooding process yourself? What I'm doing I'm picking a one day old chick and this is my first time for the broilers. Maybe we can visit the the the, the supplier and then we can get more information because this is my first time doing the broilers. Yeah and I'm expecting 1,000 of them. What is your marketing strategy now that you know the challenges that are already there in the poultry industry? I think this is a good luck. I have someone who need uh, like 1,000 every month, but for me I have my plan. Kama ange kudza ningekwa na my plan, I'm thinking of visiting every hotel in LDF, in Eldoret. If I find the hotel, I would introduce Kuku Nita, I introduce. I can even give them credit. You want to try these two Kukus. Ikiuza kesho mutani pigia. Then um, I'm trying to talk to my friends. I'm writing down the names of my friends within Eldoret. Do you have an identified market now that you, uh, now that the, the, the variety that you're expecting are broiler chicken? And as we know, in five weeks time, in six weeks time, you have to start disposing them. Do you have an identified market? If I sell everyone kuku moja, those are 200. Let's say in a week. Yeah, that's how I, I consider my market. Nandauza baby. Nandauza baby, yeah. yeah. And then I'm considering buying a car, there's like a fridge line, whereby there's a slaughter, 200. The evening, we were also very asubuini tendesha, you know. So I'm doing like a bread. I need like every morning I have to deliver. That's what I'll do, and I believe I'll sell. Uh, looking around, I can see a lot of work going on. There is a lot of construction going on. So the what are you building? Yeah, uh, there I have a portion mill and a store. What I'm considering is the cost of feed. Najaribu could learn about the feed, then Dakwa Najisa gear, and I keep them. Let's say there are a thousand cuckoos which are coming, Ningenunwa like uh, 500 kilos of feed, Yaunga, Niziek. Then I'm sure Neza Fanya 4,000 comfortably Kwanza. Within those four or five months, Dakwa Nimejipanga for another feed, so on. So na, na prefer Kwana machine yangu na store, just being ready for it. Then there I'm, I'm doing a gazebo, that gazebo. Na consider you can visit, I could charge. Yeah, I'm thinking of 2,000, then I, I cook for you and cook. So that you eat from there. Yes, that's so my dream. If I come here next time, I need to carry 2K. 2K, two, two yeah. <laughs> yes. So that 2,000 is for the farm visit. Yeah, farm and visit and information cook and one, cook for you. Yeah. One tea, you love one ugali, and, uh, ugali and kuku. You know, I'm a lawyer, so kuku and ugali must go together. <laughs> Yes. So are you working with a professional, a vet maybe? Before Nianze, me mwenye kwanza, before ata nike kuku moja. I went for training, oh. Kenchik, Nairobi. Nilifanya mm. training, uh, I think three, four days. To get the information, medication, nini kila kitu. Nikaona ninaweza. 
to my farm manager nikakuja nikamkanisha chini nikamwambia akaniambia shai fanya but nikamwambia let's do it together for like two weeks to one to tendaze so you need to have the information information nilipata kitambo kuku chick nikakuja nikafanya small training they visited my farm wakaipenda wakasema this I think is good but you need to watch on medication this so I can be a timeline if kuna ile kumboro kuna we have the 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 warming i have the list so when i do it i tick when i do it i, I tick i don't do it alone i do it with my people so when they kwa inje they do it and i love them you know when you put them close watakufanyia kazi but ukikuwa mtu you have your harsh you haitafanyika so you have to put them close and understand them koske alipewa namba yangu na chemu somebody else another farmer akanipigia simu akanipigia simu akaniuliza una uzanga kuku nikamwambia yeye anauza kuku na broiler anauza layers anauza na kienyeji anauza unataka gani akaniambia nataka tukae chini niambie advantage ya it yeye akakubali aweke broiler nikaenda kwake nikaangalia nikapea kwanza structure nikaonyesha hii structure inakaa hivi ndio race broiler ngapi kabe structure akaenda kuchenga akanipeleka kwake on wednesday nikaenda kuangalia nyumba nyumba was okay sasa ako ready weka kuku na mwili kumsaidia na roho moja